Good morning. Give you a couple more seconds here to get ready. You will need a towel or a kid's bowl. You'll need dumbbells, like one or two pounds. If you do not have really light hand weights, I would choose to grab soup cans because this is more of just to a little bit of extra work in our upper body to add on to our workout today. So glad you could join me. Happy, what day of the week is it? Wednesday. I hope you are shoeless, sockless, and you're ready to work. We are gonna start standing today. So when you're ready, I want you to pull those shoulders down your back. Inhale those arms up high to the sky and exhale them down. We're going to pull in with our abdominals. So in the pelvic neutral, if you've never done my class before, pelvic neutral is not here and it's not here. Pulling up through the pelvis, abs are tight, feet are firmly pushing into the floor and pushing apart. Chest is tall. Pull. Start feeling that heat. Warming up through those abs, through that core. Again, you should not be here. If you're working out with a partner or a spouse, have them check you. You should not be here. Pelvic neutral is centered. Hip pelvis is stable. Shoulders are down your back. Palms are facing forward. We're going to inhale those arms up. Pull the hands up high. Take the left hand, grab onto the right wrist, and pull it across the top of your body. Back to center slow so that pelvis is staying in neutral. Pull across the body to the right. Starting our Pilates roll. Chin tops at the top. Pelvis is in neutral. Abs are engaged. We begin to roll towards the floor. And once you feel this, I want you to find the breath. Oh yeah. Stack everything up tall at the top. Roll it down. We have two more. So come with your breath. Rise up from the floor and last time here. On your next one, I want you to hold up the floor. We're going to walk our hands out into a plank position. Make sure your wrists are underneath the shoulders. You're drawing your thighs towards one another. Nice, tight, and engaged. Hold that right there. I got too much stuff here. Roll up on those tiptoes, rolling forward. Pull those abs in and make a nice flat back. We're not here, we're not here, we are here. We're going to slowly lower the knees. We are going to go into just a few push-ups. Lift those feet up off the floor. You're going to let your elbows Slide right by the rib cage. Push it up. Give me three more, just like that. Three, two, and one. Rest. Step back into child's pose. Right back out. Curl those toes under. Oh my God, look at that. Oh, I haven't been in here in so long. It blew like this dust ball with a bug on it. He's dead, Fred, but he's still trying to visit my mat. <laughs> Roll up into a plank. Engage those abdominals. Walk the feet out wide for a wide down dog. And drop into that down dog. Push those hips high. Pull those abs in. Roll up on the tiptoes. And then come on out to your plank. And you're in a wide stance plank. Right foot is going to meet the right hand, right here. Send that left knee to the floor. 
rise up. Sinking into that back leg, which will be your left. Going to open up our palms, pull our elbows down to our rib cage, and lift up. Pull it down slow. Two. Three. Last one right here. Hold it back. Lifting through that chest, pulling that neck in half, warming up our body. I want you to curl your toes of your back foot. We're going to lift off into an open twisted runner's lunge. You can keep that knee on the floor. That could be your modification as well. Or lift that leg right up and pull. Lift out of that chest. We're warming up so we're not hanging out and joining a non-active stretch. Reach that right hand away from your ear. When you exhale again, I want you to bring that right hand to the floor. Send that right foot back in the plank. Hold it. Squeeze those inner thighs together. You can lower down in a push-up here, or you can drop to your knees. Push-up. Here we go. Give me one more. Tuck those back toes. Drop in the down dog. Pull those abs in. Drop them up on the tiptoes. Get those hips up. Drop the heels. Walk out into your plank. Left foot will now meet the left hand. Holding the stretch shortly, and we're going to lower that right knee down. Sit up and pull the hands up. Palms are now facing each other. Pull the shoulders down the back. One, two, three. Last one here. Nice. Pull it down and hold. Inhale those arms up, exhale the right hand to the floor, tuck the toes of that right foot, either come up or stay right there and open up your legs. Two more counts. Drop that right knee down, left hand comes to the floor, left knee meets the right knee. Fly away to the good tabletop position. We need to move through some of those cats out. And release. I want you to come around and have a seat on your bum. We are going to walk our feet out in front of us. Chest is lifted. Pull those abs in, and when you do, I want you to get a scoop of this. Notice how when I'm upright, and then I pull those abs in and I create that scoop. Nice and controlled. Now I set for my roll down. Chest is slightly lifted. Shoulders are away from your ears. Begin to roll down slow. Holding here. Four, three, two, one. Go another lower. Another lower down. A modification would be to hold a leg. Give me a little more assistance on holding yourself. Go down another lever. Scoop down. In control. Lower down. This is your last one. Four, three, two. Release those shoulders to the floor. Walk those feet under the knees. Lift up in the bridge. Interlace your hands. Palms come together. Nice shoulder stretch here. Release the hands, hips come to the floor. We're going to go right and left with those knees. Bring up a little more on that back. All right, pelvic neutral, pull those abs in. I don't want a completely flat back, but I want some pressure into the floor. Abs are engaged, pelvis is stable. Right knee comes up, left knee comes up. Pull those abs in together. Right here, you should feel some heat through those abs. If not, look at your knees and maybe push them out a little bit. You do not want the knees back here. You want them at the hips or a little past it. Pulling those abs in to help control your back from marching off the floor. Let's take our arms out in a T position. We're going to drop 
our right foot down, big toe will touch the floor, lift it up. Now the difference in this movement than just this is the control in the pelvis. The only thing moving is the leg towards the floor. Right? If you're not feeling this in your abdominals and you throughout the whole class, you struggle with it, reach out for an e-coaching session with me. Let's figure out what's happening. Maybe I can give you some pointers of addressing that abdominal control, that pelvic control. All right, both legs stay up. Curl that head up. Fingertips come behind the head. Get up there. Elbows are facing the knee. Reach that right hand towards that right chin. Hold. Can you curl up further? Let go. Right hand comes back, left hand reaches to left side, left shin side. Can you get up there a little bit further? Oh, release. Drop those legs down. Drop those legs out to the right. Line on our side now. If this is too much on your back, you can open up the legs, but keep that pelvis engaged. Right? Fingertips behind the ears. I'm going to keep my abdominals engaged, but I'm opening up my knees just a little bit to stabilize through my back. I'm going to curl up and down. Three. Come on. Five. Six. Seven. Starting our workout off a little bit different today. Mixing it up. You have four more. Make sure you're not pushing your abs out. Make sure you're pulling them in. Two more. Last one. Hold it up. Reach that left arm up. Four, three, two. Lower down slow. Knees to the left side. Abs are in. Again, I'm opening my legs. I'm stabilizing through my pelvis. If it feels good on your back to have both knees to the side, you can do this movement just like that. I'm taking a little more extra precaution with my back. Abs are in tight. Here we go. Where's your breath? Don't forget that part. That's the fun part. Really intensifies that contraction through your abdominals when you exhale. Come on. Four more. You're nice and controlled. Two more. Hold at the top for me. Send that right arm up and out. Hold. Get up there. Four, three, two, lower down slow. Roll back to your back. Now it's time to get things off. Let's kick it off. Going into our rock and rolls. Choose to hold here. Or hold behind the thighs, or if you need a modifier, use one leg. But those abs are engaged. This is not the step on, hey, let's casual roll. Exhale forcefully on the way up and hold this one. Toes can be down. There's a couple modifiers. If you've done this class before, you know I'm going here. So that's where I start to go. Shoulders are away from your ears. Four, three, two, let's roll. Last set of rolls. Come on. Have fun with them. One more. Stay at the top. Get up there. Find your balance. Pull those shoulders away from the ears. Remember your modifier. Our toe touches. The holding on. Or even both big toes down. Four, three, two, Set those feet on the floor. Cross your ankles, roll over to your mat. I'm gonna do kind of a 360 here. Pull those abs in, create that cat. Move them through cow. All right, I'm gonna give you an option. I don't know what you're using at home. You can, I want you to roll up your mat, preferably toward the end, this one doesn't roll very well. I'm not going to be using rolled up because 
for what level I'm on, I'll be launching off of a foam roller. So I'm going to show you how you're going to do it, preferably on a rolled up mat or using a rolled up towel. We'll get to it. I just want it on your mat somewhere, somewhere close to your right knee. So you can either have it out to the side, or for me, I know where I'm headed. With my lunge, I'm going to have my foam roller on my, or my flop on my right side. You're going to tuck the toes under, send them out into plank of me, and lift up into your plank position. Pull those abs in. We're going to do a push up to a push back. Let's all try it on our knees first. Drop to your knees, lift your feet off the floor. Halfway into your push-up, push back and out of the palm. Don't cheat yourself and do this and this, all right? While that muscle is under work and load, that's when you push out of it, and it makes it really intense. If you want to do it on your toes, you come up on your toes. Let's go. Get ready in four, three, two, one. Push up, push back. If you're on your toes, notice where I land. Knees are hovering. Back out into plank. Do it again. Push up. Back into hover. Back into plank. We're going to open up to that right side bridge. Right hand goes up. If this is too intense on your wrist, down to that left shoulder, your left forearm, and hold your side bridge. As we're holding here, come on, one more breath. Exhale, back through the center. We're going to take our left foot, meet our left hand. Set that right knee down on your rolled up mat. I'm going to lunge from the floor, from the foam yoga block because I'm stair stepping back to 100% recovery on my back. I'm going to stand up into a lunge from the floor and then slowly drop back down. Here we go, lunge it up. That's two. Drop back down. There's three. Come up. Little pause at the top. Lower slowly to the floor. There's four. We have four more. When you lower that leg, I want it to be slow. All right? Three more. Keep those shoulders back. Two more. Last one. Up. Drop it down. I want you to watch me on this one. We're going to lunge from the floor up to a knee. When you send that leg back to lunge back, the foot makes contact, then you drop the knee. Do not go right to the knee. Got it? Four, three, two, let's lift. Bring those arms up if you want to add a little bit. We're pausing at the top. Send that foot back onto the floor. Arms come up. Lift that knee. Pause. Leg goes back to the floor. That's two. You've got two more. We're pausing a little longer here. Pull. Come on. Squeeze those thighs together. Send it back. Arms come down. We lunge to the floor. Last one. Hold it up here. Come on. Set the big toe on the floor. Act like you're holding something heavy between those hands. Pull that knee up. Eight, seven, six. Remember that pelvis? If you're not engaging those abs, you're not feeling much here. Three, two, last one. Hands come to your side. Both heels touch the floor, sink down in the chair. Hands can be center or hands can be here. Set into those heels. Chest is lifted, abs are engaged. If your arms are out here, you're going to twist this way. We're just going to do small little rotations. If you have herniated discs or any bulging discs, you're going to set a little upright. Still engaged. And still twisting. If you're in prayer, this is what it looks like. But I'm up fairly high because of back concerns. If you do not have back concerns, take it nice and slow. Have little twists left and right. Not fast. Imagine you're moving through water. Rest. Arms 
them to the side of the leg. Send that right leg back. Take him to that four ball. Four roll that mat. You know where we're heading. Lift those arms up for eight lunges. And down. Seven. Slow it down. Six. I'm pausing at the bottom because I know I have a quicker pace because that walk is stopping me. Two more. Last one here. Pull those arms up. Sink into that low one and hold. Four, three, two, one. Come bring that right knee to the floor. Left knee meets the right knee. Let's take a couple cat cow transitions here. All right. You know where we started. Right leg goes out. Left leg goes out. We're in a straight arm plank. Not for long. It's a push up, push back. Four, three, two, go. Push up, push back, and hover. Back to push up. Push back, hover. And back to plank. Right hand, or right foot needs the right hand. Oh, I'm sorry. No, it doesn't. Bring that right foot back to plank. Opening into side plank on that left side. Get there. Lift those hips up. Pull in those abdominals. Two more breaths. On your exhale, come back to the center to plank. Now our right foot meets the right hand. Drop that left knee down on your rolled up mat. First set is your choice if you want to use the arms and raise up. We've got eight lifts off the floor. If I go too fast, slow it down yourself. We're trying to time it. I'm using this block and it's getting me to the end faster. Four, three, two, let's go lift up. And down. Up. And down. Push out of the front heel of this foot. Let's go. Three, two, we're going to that knee brace after this one. Go down. Be careful. Lift it up slow. Find your balance. Squeeze those thighs together. Send that left foot back. Foot lands. Then you lower. Lift it up. Left knee is in the air. Left foot is on the floor. Then you lower. Here we go. Three. Holding longer on this one. Left foot goes back. Drop it down right here. Last one. Get it up there. Hold it. Imagine you're holding a heavy ball. Left big toe touches the floor. Raise. Two. Three. Maybe your right glute is on fire. Pull those abs in. Three. Two, and one, hands come down, sink into your chair. Find where you want to twist, either palms, heart center, or arms are out in filter position. When you're up tall, let your head over more. Your level, either way, squeeze those thighs together, create that tension through the midsection, Hands down, sit low into your chair. Inhale those arms up in the mountain. Exhale to the sides of your body. You're going to grab hand weights or soup cans. You do not have any weights available. You can act as though you have something grabbing on tightly and firmly to anything, even a remote something. We will start our series. Grab a quick drink. I'm going to try three pounds. I'm going to end up putting them down. 
see what my back thinks of this. Move those thighs together. Sink into your chair pose. Notice my chest is up and I'm tall. I'm not here. I'm shining my chest brightly. We're going to send that right arm up to the right ear. Left arm goes back, raising the side of our body. Switch like we're moving it through water. So even if you're not using weight, create tension. Like you've got water to push these arms through. It's too intense on the back. Don't hinge so high, or don't hinge so much as it is. Abs are engaged. We never lose that. Pilates is about maintaining that pelvic neutral, keeping the pelvis steady, sturdy. Come on. Four, three, two, and one. Hold on to your weight. Face the camera. Sit your weight into that left foot. Right heel is going to lift out to the side. And you're ready. Add a lateral arm raise. Nice and slow. Try not to set that foot down. You got it. Eight more. Find it. Two. Last one. Roll those shoulders. Stretch through that neck. Tap those feet, get that blood flowing right back into those legs. All right, right foot. 90 degree bend at that elbow, both elbows. Left leg out. Start to lift you lower. Then when you're balanced, add those arms. You got this every day, all day, right? What your abs doing? I hope they're pulling in and up. You have ten more. Two more. Last one. Whoa, set it down. Show you the hinge first. If it bothers your back, it'll stay up with me. Pull those elbows beside your rib cage. Send the arms out. Little pulse in. Then I want you to come up on your tiptoes. So we're on our tiptoes. We're in a chair pose. We've got a lot of things happening here. One thing I want to be happening is those abs. Pull them in. to your mat, you can either take a Pilates roll down, or just come to your knees. We're going to start on our knees first. Moving through. I just realized I'm running out of time. 
minimize to a crunch, to a single arm, to an arm by the ear crunch, to a two count crunch, if you have to modify it that way. I'm going to use the ball, pull those abs in, we're going to do singles, pulling in and pressing into your towel or your ball. Come on, we're going to have to make it work here in 10 minutes. You can join us for a virtual walk after class if you're feeling lucky. Come on. We're going to make this doubles. If you're on your towel, I cannot emphasize even enough. We are not arching over the towel. We're staying and pressing our back firmly into it. Double count. One, two. Up. to raise our arms to our ears. Continue, but we're going to go in a single. Watch this here, nice and controlled. Just here, don't get too tired. Another way, we're going to place your hands on the back of your shoulders. You got this. We're going to hold here at the back. Grabs are scooped out. The arms are next to our head. We can have your fingertips here. Still keeping everything else engaged tightly. Come on. Eight more counts. Four, three, two, sit up. I am going to limit my range of motion on this next one. I'll show you full range. You choose the same and what goes best to your back. Thumbs are on your collarbone. Roll it back into the ball or towel. Right elbow reaches back. Left elbow reaches side and back. I will minimize this. Small twist. If you want to lengthen that elbow out, feel free to do so. Four. Three. Two, last one on either side. Roll it up, remove that ball or towel. All right, I'm going to roll down slowly. Oh, I'm sorry, keep your towel. We're going to place the towel between the shoulder blades or your ball between the shoulder blades. What it's going to do is put you higher into a higher crunch position. You do not need to be here. You don't have to have anything there. But I want you to curl up, either hands beside the leg, or give your head a little bit of a rest in the cradle. Just don't sit back here or you're not doing anything. Pull those abs in. We're going to send the right foot. You do not need to touch the floor. Only go as far as your back will allow you to. You should be having to fight to keep your back flat. That's what's firing those abs intensely. It's nice and slow. Your legs should be farther than hip width apart. You're not rocking to an arching back.
should be content, to say the least. Come on. Two and one. Send those legs up. Toes are pointed into the low of the left leg. Pull and pull that right knee to the chest. Switch. Switch. Keep that pelvis steady. Do not rock side to side. Four, three, two, one. Rest. Come off of that ball. Let's stretch it out. Knees come into the chest. And that class went by fast. Run us through some stretches. Please take the time to stretch a little bit longer today. If you need some suggestions, there's plenty of stretch videos under our video tab on our fitness, our fit on our Facebook page. We're going to start with our left knee over to the right side. Open up that left arm and look over to that left hand. I'm going to have to finish right on time to start off our virtual. That's why I'm rushing right on into our stretches. Again, make sure you stretch legs, arms. We're stretching through back, which is, I know, the most crucial at this point. Switch to the side, left side, knees drop. Oh, open that right arm up. Slowly bring those feet back to center. Right leg comes up, left leg out. Don't flex that right foot. One more. Cross it over that left side. Bring that knee into the chest, getting a nice glute stretch. Set that left foot down. Left leg is up, point and flex through that foot. I would stretch through the shoulders. I put a good shoulder chest stretch up last week. It's in our announcements. It's an image, so it'll be under our photos as well. Left ankle over that right thigh. We were on those wrists, or we were on those wrists. We were on our hands, wrists, shoulders. I think we should have hit about everything. Lower that right foot. I'm going to roll up to seat it. Inhale those arms up. Grab up all that great positive energy that you threw it up with that great workout. Hands come to heart center. Thank you for joining me today. Have a blessed Wednesday. As always, I am grateful to be back to teaching a live Pilates class. Thanks for joining me.